Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bald Guy Ace and I am back. It's great to be back and thanks so much everybody for getting me to 1,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. It's amazing how fast we were able to get there. I can't believe it and I'm really appreciative for uh, all you guys for subscribing and for watching all my videos. It's super awesome. I'm really sorry I haven't posted in over four months. I'm definitely going to plan on posting more often and more frequently from now on. It's going to be great. Basically, I had some renovations going on in my apartment. It took a little longer than I thought, and there were people in and out of my apartment, construction workers and stuff, and it was just hard to record. And then the summer happened, and basically, uh, before you knew it, it was been four months. But I'm back, I am ready for action, and it's gonna be great. Um, so as many of you guys know, uh, Minecraft's Arkham Network server is currently undergoing a revamp. And so when the revamp comes out, I'm definitely gonna start making Arkham Network videos again. But in the meantime, I wanted to check out some other games. And Grotopia, which is what I am on right now, is a free-to-play game. So I thought it would be a cool game for me to check out. It's free-to-play. You can download it on your computer or also on your smartphone. And unlike Minecraft, the game that you play on your smartphone is the same as the one on the computer. So everybody connects to the same server. You can chat with everybody. See, if I pull this down, there's a chat screen right here. You can, uh, you can go into the chat screen. You can click this bubble and you can say, hey, everyone. Although there's no one in this world right now. Um, but you can talk in your chat, whether you're on the phone or on the computer, and that's kind of cool. I like that because that way if you're on the road, if you're somewhere else, you can still go on your phone and play the game, which is pretty fun. So you can go to GrotopiaGame.com to download it on your computer, or uh, on your smartphone, you can just go to the App Store or the Play Store, search for Grotopia, and download it there. Just uh, be careful, there's like random spam apps that are called like Grotopia Hacks and things like that. Uh, don't download those, those are, uh, those are scams or whatever it is. Just, only download the main game called Grotopia. So here I am, I am in an empty world because I just wanted to show you guys just very basic stuff about the game. Uh, we'll just check out a world, uh, I'll show you my farming world, and uh, then I'll make another video uh, after this um, that explains how to actually get started in the game. I'm in a blank, blank state world, and basically the, the main concept of Grotopia are that you take seeds, you plant those seeds, and they grow into cool things. You can combine the seeds into uh, and with other seeds, and then you can get even cooler things. So basically, there's four main seeds that you can get from any blank slate world. You get to the, uh, the uh, world enter screen by just going to the upper right hand corner here, clicking uh, exit world, and then you can type in your world name. I already picked a random world just so that I can go to a blank one. If you type in a world name that's not already taken, you go to a blank world. So that's what I did on purpose so that I can show you guys what a blank world is like. Uh, I locked it so that other people can't get in. I'll explain how that works in a second. Uh, let me just close it back up again. There we go, so it's locked. So if somebody else gets in, they'll be trapped there and then they'll just leave. So basically, in any blank world that you go into, you have dirt, rocks, lava, which is way down on the bottom, which you can't see right now because I didn't go down there. And underneath the dirt are cave background. That's just the background uh, area of, the, of this particular uh, world. Those four seeds you can combine by planting and then taking another seed, planting it on top. I just combine cave background seed and rock seed and that makes a sign tree. You can combine those four seeds though to make hundreds and hundreds of combinations of different seeds because the combinations that you get from like rock and cave background, you can then combine again with another rock or dirt to make something different. And you can, there's all kinds of different combos and then you can combine the combos with the combos and you just keep going and it's kind of cool. You can literally go up the ladder and get hundreds of different kinds of combinations. It gets pretty crazy. Uh, like this is only taking a minute to grow. Some of the things like if I just plant blank clay, cave background and I don't even uh, combine with anything, it just takes 30 seconds. But if you, can, if you keep combining and go way up the ladder, you can get the things that take over seven days to grow. Uh, you don't have to do that, but you could and you get some fancy stuff like chandeliers and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, so this is a blank world. Um, I'll make another video that shows how to get started from scratch using a blank world. Um, but for now, I just want to kind of do a general overview of the game. So aside from planting trees and then harvesting the trees, um, which I'll show you right here, this tree is about to be harvested. See, it says punch to harvest. So you can either click this punch button and then click with the mouse right over it, or you can click this punch button on the side of the screen over here, and I hit it and I harvest it, and now I got six cave backgrounds from that to add to the one I already had. Uh, and that's how you uh, plant and get blocks and things. I can then place those cave backgrounds here. See, there it is. And these are backgrounds, so I can walk right over them. 
if it was a solid block, like if I, if I punch this tree, well actually this isn't solid either, that's a sign. But this dirt that I already had, that's solid. So if I place that there, I just tried to walk left, I hit right into it. And uh, so there's different kinds of blocks, it's pretty cool. Uh, as you can see here, there's an avatar that represents you. It says right on here, Ball Guy Ace, which is my character. It says the country that I'm from, the United States. Uh, you can zoom out pretty far. They don't let you zoom all the way out, but you can zoom out pretty far. You can also zoom in pretty far. This is a little too far for me. I can't really see where I'm going here. So I like to zoom out a decent amount. It's pretty cool. As you saw before, there's a chat screen. Um, and you can type in the chat screen and stuff. You can add friends. I have zero friends, though it's very sad, guys. I have zero friends right now. Um, but you can you can go and add friends. Uh, it's pretty cool. Let me show you my farm world that I have right now. So I'm gonna exit this blank slate world. And my farm world right now is called Audio Ace. I'm gonna change the name. Audio Ace used to be my character before I had the name Bald Guy Ace. I don't use it anymore. Um, so here is my farm world. Look at this, check this out. As you can see here, it's just a whole bunch of rows of stuff that I can plant seeds on. Uh, look at this, it just keeps going up. It goes up, I think, 26 layers. Eventually, I'll hit the top here. Um, in the meantime, look, you see, the, I'm harvesting fish tanks. I'm, I'm farming fish tanks. So these are trees that are ready to be farmed. If I punch them, if I punch these here, I get gems, and then I get more fish tanks. I also occasionally will get another fish tank seed. Then what happens is you place the fish tanks in a big long line right here, like I did. And then I break them open. I get more gems, but you get more seeds from the blocks. So then I take those seeds and I plant them again. The idea here is that you can spend the gems that you make while breaking all this stuff on cool things. And you ideally will get more seeds every time you plant a cycle. So every time I plant a bunch of seeds, harvest the seeds, place the blocks, and then break the blocks, I get more seeds than I did the first time. So eventually I can sell the extra seeds that I get. And when I sell those seeds, I get World Locks. World Locks is the main currency on Grotopia. What's cool about World Locks is that it acts as like gold, where you can spend it to buy all kinds of stuff from other players and stuff by going to uh, trade worlds and things like that and just clicking trade on, with the players. You also can use the World Locks to go to a random world that's not already locked. Actually, let me just go back to my farm world. And see, I placed a world lock right here. Because I placed that, when anybody goes into the world, it says, Audio Ace is world locked by Bald Guy Ace. Because it's world locked, nobody else that enters this world can build anything or destroy anything, which is pretty cool. Now, if I wanted to, I can click this wrench. See, I click my, uh, down here, this fist. I can change it to a wrench. I can click this world lock. It says, currently, you're the only one with access. I can add people, and I can give other people uh, world access. I'm not gonna do that right now. I can also just let anybody that comes in here build, which I'm definitely not gonna do, because then people start building things and destroying things and they would be really bad. But you, you have that option, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna cancel this and get out of it. So that's what world locks are. Uh, as you saw before, I was getting gems. You can go into here once you get gems. I have a lot of gems right now, by the way. Um, if anybody's a Grotopia veteran and has any kind of tips on what I should spend my gems on, uh, let me know. I'll also post that in the description uh, to see if anybody has any. Thing. Basically what I want to do is I want to spend my gems in the gem store for things that I can then sell to other players and get world locks. And I want to get the best ratio of world locks for gems. But uh, I could spend the gems directly on any item I want. Um, but generally it's better to spend the world locks on those items and buy them from other players. Uh, you'll, you'll learn all this stuff as you play it. I would encourage you though just to download the game and check it out. If I'm on, you can say hi to me. Uh, Sometimes it's hard for me to read the chat because the chat uh, leaves a lot to be desired in Grotopia. It's uh, still cool. I mean, it's still there is a chat, which is nice. So in the gem store, there's all kinds of cool stuff you can buy. There's awesome items. You can buy a riding raptor, uh, ambulance. These are different things you can you can ride around on, like sort of mounts, I guess. Um, there's a red bicycle, different things like that. There's an anti-gravity generator, which makes it so that um, anybody in your world can just jump. Um, as much as they want. There's no limit on the amount of jumps, so basically there's no gravity in the world. Uh, if I go back one in the store, there's weather machines, which uh, changes the background of your world. So right now I just have the basic sun background with mountains in the background. But you can do rainy city, you can do sunny, night, arid, warp speed, Mars. There's a lot of cool stuff. Um, and there's other things you can't even buy, that you don't buy in the item store either that people just have uh, that they make from splicing seeds and things like that. 
Um, but there's items packs, you can buy clothes, clothes packs, you can buy rare seed packs, small seed packs. So that's how you get like, if you don't want to splice the seeds to get there, you can get, you can just buy seed packs. You can buy hundreds of seed packs and then you can get a bunch of different random seeds and then it'll skip, uh, it'll help you so you don't have to splice a bunch of seeds together and take a lot of time. Uh, so there's a bunch of different things you can buy. I have a ton of gems. So if anybody has any ideas of what I should buy with those gems, feel free to uh, leave a comment below in the video. That would be super cool. So let me exit this world and I'm going to go to, let's just pick a random world here. The worlds are ranked um, one through uh, five here. And then it's like, they rank them all the way through 100. It might even go further than that, but I'll just go to some random thing. Let's see, grow moon, let's see what this is. So as you can see here, there's all different kinds of um, blocks you can use. Every single block you see in this world right here, guys, is a block that had to have been grown at some point as a seed uh, and then created into a block and then placed. And uh, all those seeds at some point started from those four basic seeds I talked to you about before, the cave background, the dirt seed, the rock seed, and the lava seed. Then you get cool things, you get mailboxes here and you can click the wrench, you can interact with the mailbox. Um, this is a popular world, so this mailbox is already full, but um, you, I guess each mailbox can hold up to uh, up to 20 letters in it, that's pretty cool. There's a vending machine here. This vending machine has 14 moon block on sale for 20 per world lock. As I said before, the world lock is the, uh, the gold basically of the uh, game. So if you wanted 20 moon blocks, you'd pay a world lock. There's only 14 here, so I can't actually buy any because they have to wait for the guy to restock this vending machine. It's cool that there's, uh, there's different items like that and the items are functional. There's a donate box. So if I put a donate box in my world, you could donate into it. I don't have one right now. I'm probably gonna leave one there eventually so that people can come to my world and donate if they want to. Um, but there's cool stuff like that. So it's basically like a 2D version of Minecraft. Let me just go to one other world. Let's see um, if there's a cool world here. Let's check role play worlds. Let's see what's a good thing. Axoon Beach, I've never been here. Let's see, oh look at that. See, this is all built from scratch. They all started with that blank world that I first went into that just had dirt in it and rocks. And they built all this stuff here. Um, this is super cool, which is which is why it's one of the top ranked uh, worlds. I think it's the top ranked world. Um, this happens to have note blocks in it. Um, if I turn my sound on, you would hear the world actually playing music because this guy actually has sound blocks. I'm not going to do that because I have music playing underneath myself right now, and that would just get confusing. Um, but you guys can check it out for yourself. Super cool. Like, see, all these blocks are like actual blocks that this guy planted. Well, somebody planted them. He might not have planted them. They turned into blocks and then he placed the blocks. So it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go back to my farm world right now for a second here. So I'm in my farm world right now. Uh, there's even quests you can do guys. This this phone here, if you if you dial it, it dials up a guy. One, two, three, four, five. It dials up this guy Crazy Jim, which has quests. There's a daily quest. If, if you give him 200 lava rock and 10 red crayons. It'll give you a grow token then grow tokens are another thing you can spend on stuff so there's a lot of cool things about this game i don't even know all the stuff so i'm kind of learning it as we go which is pretty awesome then there's uh there's these other quests you can do there's three quests a day that you can do um if you earn 1600 xp you can deliver uh that to him and then he gives you somewhere between 21 and 1000 gems you also increase in awesomeness by one so right now i have 25 awesomeness I did this gem goal, so I'm gonna turn it in. He says, you completed your gem goal for the day. Here, I'll give you 140 gems. You're now slightly more awesome, so now I have 26% awesomeness. He says, keep reaching for those stars, hooray. Then I also uh, did this harvest 4,800 rarity from trees. Um, I hit it, so I can now turn it in and get 2,100 XP, so I did that, and I got 2,100 XP, and now 27% awesome. Uh, as you get higher in awesomeness, the quests get harder and harder. I'm only 27%, eventually you get to 100%, then the quests are like super hard. Um, I haven't got there yet, so I don't know how crazy the quests get, but I think they get pretty crazy. Um, as you see here, I have uh, 100 fish tank seeds that I got from harvesting. And since each row I have here is 98, I have enough fish tanks to uh, plant a whole row of fish tanks. So I'm gonna do that right now. You can see how you do this. So I click it here. Um, it's also a touch screen, but on here I'm using the mouse because I'm on the PC. But if you're on your phone, you can use it as a touch screen, which is cool. So I'm planting this here. And then I move, and as I move, I'm holding my mouse down. So I'm planting these seeds. As you see, they're placing here. Uh, I should be placing 98, so I had 101, so I should have two left when I reach the end of here. Um, oh, I gotta re-click. They make it so you can't just hold your mouse down forever so that otherwise people would use bots and stuff. So eventually it stops and you gotta re-click again. So I did it, and oh, I have three left. Uh, that's right, because there was 98 and I had 101. 
So there's uh, three left, um, three left over. So that's how you plant. Now I have to wait 20 hours and 55 minutes for these fish tank trees to grow. Um, but you don't have to farm. That's just one option. Um, and you can farm things that take a shorter amount of time. There are things that take only four hours, things that take one hour. Uh, when you first start, like, there's things that only take a few minutes and then you can farm those. So it's pretty cool. So guys, that was just a basic overview of Grotopia. There's a million things you gotta learn about it. I'm gonna post more videos of it. Don't worry though, I'm still gonna be posting Arcan Network videos um, on Minecraft. I'm just waiting for the revamp to happen. Once the revamp happens, I'll start posting more videos of that. But if you guys like Grotopia videos, I'll keep posting those as well. I'm gonna post another video of Grotopia that shows you how to get started on Grotopia because I'm sure you guys wanna know how to actually get started and get, get a world lock so you can lock your own world up and then you can start farming and get more world locks and then you can become the richest player in the game. So guys, that's just a basic overview. Uh, I hope you will subscribe if you just are finding this video for the first time. I'm gonna be posting more Rotopia videos. I'm also gonna be posting Minecraft videos once Archive Network starts up again. Thanks again for all the you guys that have been subscribed for so long. Thanks again for 1,000 subscribers. That's super awesome. I really appreciate it. It's been great. Um, what I'm gonna do is put a circle with my picture on it right in the middle of the screen right there. And if you guys could click that picture, and click subscribe, that would be super awesome. You'll be able to find out when I post my next video. I'll post a, an old video on the corner right there. Thanks a lot guys, until my next video, I'm Bald Guy Ace reminding you to embrace the baldness.